Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jadine. If you're new and if you're not new, then welcome back. I wanted to pop in and start the vlog off right because I was gonna leave here this morning and not even vlog, so. I guess I'm doing good out in the world today. So, um, last night I... When I came home, I really felt super overwhelmed because, you know, we stopped somewhere and I didn't want to be there. And I just felt overwhelmed that I was there, not wanting to be there. And then having everybody come up to the car. Uh, well, not everybody. That's an exaggeration. Like two people came up to the car and they were just like, um, hi. So you don't want to come inside and talk? And I'm just like, no. And then... The, for, at first, a guy was just like, hi, are you going to come out of the car because I'm going to wash it? Which I knew that that was just him trying to get me to go inside. And I'm just like, no, I, I'll sit in, inside here while you wash it. And then he was just like, um, you know, it's some ladies inside. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, great. I still don't want to go inside. I feel like it's so mentally draining to... Oh, this is going to sound crazy. Having to be around people all the time. I really like my space and I like to be by myself most of the times. I'm not quite the social butterfly all the time, but the people that I do care about, I don't care if I'm around them all the time. But just random people in a setting like that, I prefer to be alone. I don't want to do all that. And I was so mad at my husband too, because you know how I am. And now we're here. You said you're picking something up and now we're here for an hour. And now you're entertaining the idea of people coming up to the car asking me if I'm coming out, knowing how I am. So the last girl who came up to the car, she was just like, um, hi. So I said, hi. Like I spoke to her and everything. And she was just like, you don't want to come inside. And I'm like, no, I'm antisocial. And she was just like, well, you're going to be the opposite. And I'm just like, oh, no thanks though. I don't want to go inside. And she was just like, Okay, well, nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you too. I just don't want to... And I don't like to feel like people are forcing me to do that stuff. Because I'm that person who will be in there and feel so uncomfortable that I'm on my phone. And then that looks rude. And then that's not what I'm trying to do. So that was very, very annoying. That was very annoying. And I feel like he was kind of annoyed too that I didn't want to go inside. But that is just how I am. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And I will not be forced into doing things either. I'm no, sorry. Anyways, it is obviously the next morning and I'm ready. I was just scouting out a different way to get to Jamaica Avenue because the the way how I normally go, that bus is coming up real quick, like too early. And I'm just like, ugh, I wanna do that. I don't wanna have to leave that early and just be on the avenue like that. Cause see, that's how you start spending money. Because I'm going to now be on the avenue with nothing to do. I'm going to go in one of those stores and I'm going to spend money in one of those stores because I'm going to see something that I like. I'm saying this all casually and everything, but I'm very disciplined when it comes on to spending money. So I could go in there and come right back out empty-handed, but, you know, oh, they just always have something that I like. Anyways, that is my dilemma for this morning, but... Welcome to the vlog. Did I say that already? Probably. Anyways, I'm going to put my shirt on and then get my jacket and my shoes and get ready to dip up out of here because I already had my breakfast and I'm, oh damn, I didn't even pack my, okay, I gotta go. Like for the past four months with my meal preps, I've been making sweet potatoes and they were amazing for the most part, but I feel like right now I'm beginning to get tired of them, which is so annoying because the sweet potato is obviously so healthy for me. And I've been eating it for four months straight, but I'm also that person who I can eat something for an extended period. But when this time comes that I get tired of it, that is it. I'm just tired of it. So now I'm kind of in the rut of trying to figure out what else I could make that my body will allow me to eat for a very long time and be okay with that until I can go back to like the sweet potatoes and stuff like that. And from where I'm standing, I don't know what that is going to be right now. And I feel like it's so annoying because... I've been doing amazing with the meal prep and stuff like that. I haven't been eating out because I meal prep and I take what I cook. But now, 
me not wanting the sweet potatoes, it's just annoying because what the hell am I going to do? What am I going to eat? And the whole point of the sweet potatoes was because it's healthy and it's not rice. So I feel like right now I'm left in a situation where it's just like, well, there's always rice. And I don't want to subject myself to eating a rice every day like that. So I really don't know. That just That's just going to make meal prepping that much harder because now... I have to figure out new things. So from the other day, I've been looking at Pinterest to see if I can find um, like some quick and easy recipes, obviously with ingredients that I would actually like and be willing and ready to eat. So uh, I still have to do some work where that's concerned. But for the most part, I guess that's where I'm at. Anyways, I'm going to... um. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna, I just packed my lunch container inside of there. I need fruits, so I'm gonna take an apple with me today. Today is gonna be a long ass day. I need a snack, I had a snack yesterday and I didn't eat it, so I need to check my bag to see what's up in there and then I'm going to leave, so I'll see you guys later on. I feel like I, for some reason, always start my vlogs right here in this kitchen, but hello there from my kitchen. You guys are very familiar because I'm always in here. Wow. That could sound bad too. That could probably sound like I really just love eating. Anyways, it is today's Tuesday. Is it really? Yep, and I cannot wait for tomorrow. Tonight when I come home, I'm gonna have to cook because there isn't enough lunch in the fridge because those two days were just not, not it at all. So, I didn't fully prepare for this week as a result. I'm going to have to tap into a little bit of that preparation tonight when I come home. Anyways, I've tied my hair down so it could look put together or whatnot. Yesterday was such a good day because I feel like it just happened really, really quickly. I've been loving Mondays lately. You know how there's that stigma attached to Mondays where it's just like, Mondays are such a drag and they literally last forever. That might not be the case here because the past couple of Mondays, like since the year started, they have really picked up. And Monday might be my new favorite day. I'm joking, that's a drag. Anyways, I'm here waiting to pass the time. Yesterday, 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 this bus played me, okay? And I ended up getting to work two minutes late. And while I was going in the door, one of the men was just like, hi, you're late. And I'm just like, yeah, by two minutes, I'm aware. You know, I'm on it. What the hell? You're gonna kill me for two minutes when most times I'm standing at the door waiting for you to open it? I don't get it with people. Anyways, I'm just here, I just had breakfast and I'm going to now put the rest of my clothes on and take this scarf off of my head. But I'm gonna take it off after I've already put my clothes on because it's gonna mess up my hair if I put my clothes on if I take it off and then put my clothes on and we don't want that I need to figure out my lunch situation from early too just so I'm not trying to blaze out of hair at the last minute so I think I'm gonna what am I gonna take today I've been really loving the gala apples lately maybe I should take a banana where am I working today front or back probably back maybe I should take a banana and Yeah, maybe I'll take a banana and a plum. And I'm going to take like a Ritz Bits with me too. Because I've been trying to eat more fruits. Especially since I can't figure out the goddamn... Yesterday I ate some stewed chicken and rice. And boy, that was bussin'. I feel like it might be because I haven't been eating so much rice lately. So the rice just tasted extra good. And I'm just like, oh gosh. This right here is the devil. Okay. Let you... Um, start trying to get your life together and like start eating healthy <laughs> And watch the devil come for your whole existence With the rice that tasted so good hate that So right now I'm trying to find a snack to take with me. I need some more of these mint candy inside my bag because I don't have gum and everybody wants mint. So I'm gonna just pour some damn that's damn near the whole bag. And my little Ziploc bag there that I put my lunch in here in. So I've been, ever since I've been here, I've been searching for the good 
peppermint tea bag from back home and I found it like once or twice but now I'm not able to find it anywhere at all when I was in the Bronx I used to be able to find like good Jamaican stuff stuff that I actually want but I found this one by Celestial Seasonings and I really love it really really good so if you're trying to get some peppermint this right here will be your friend love that for me so I've really been on this and the other day when I was in the grocery store I was deliberating between if I wanted to buy one box or two because it has 20 in one back in one box and I ended up deciding to buy the two because I'm like whatever I'm already here anyways but I'm glad I did because I've really been going through them so I would have been done mad quick if I didn't get to anyways I think that's all I'm gonna bring because when I know that there are snacks inside of the bag I don't stop eating so we're gonna kind of get that under control which means okay sis hello I'm right here it's okay in getting that under control I need to have less snacks in my bag so there's nothing to search for so that is what we're doing this morning but I'm gonna go and like finish getting ready and all that I said I was gonna do just now so I'll see you guys later hi guys it is the end of another successful day something in this kitchen looks so blank and I can't tell what it is anyways that's the least of my worries right now I think I'm gonna make some peppermint tea even though I just had a cup of, of peppermint tea like probably two hours ago so I really don't need it right now but I feel like peppermint tea for me is like um I don't know it feels so holy it reminds me of back home in Jamaica so love that and I always try to have peppermint tea bags with me and right now I have more than enough so I just might make some peppermint tea I feel a little bit peckish too like I could eat something but I don't know what just yet so today my friend was just like Janine I need one of these um glass containers and I'm just like well I have four so I use all the ones I have and she's like but I need one and she's African and she's like this is how we beg you know when we're begging we will beg you the last pretty much because that's how we give to and I'm just like oh my gosh whatever because she will not stop begging so I gave her the container so now I'm just like one of these days I'm gonna have to go to Marshall's and get another container or two because like I think I mentioned before that I'm trying to cut out the plastic containers that I am using and I've done so well so far so I just need I have a few more that needs to go anyways today tomorrow I have kind of a late day because I my start time is like midday which love that for me so I could actually sleep in in the morning and I'll still be fine and I could go to bed late tonight I don't have anything that I'm watching on Netflix right now but I think I need to find something else because what I was watching last is done and I need something else to watch but tonight I might just watch some YouTube videos and call it a day until I find like a good series I feel like I might be overlooking a few of them so I need to just take my time and go through and whatever but I'd really just prefer if somebody recommended one or two and that would be fine because all the ones that I loved from way back when I either watched all of those out or I'm no longer interested so um that's where we are with that but anyways I just came home and I just did two minutes worth of talking and I'm gonna go so I will see you guys tomorrow morning if I have anything to say then I lied as it turns out I'm not gonna see you guys tomorrow morning I will just see you guys in the next vlog because I just realized I knew this a long time ago I just realized that I like to talk so I have so much footage and I'm trying to not make the videos too too long and this is already too much so we're gonna just end the vlog here and I will pick up where we're leaving off right now I'll see you guys in the next vlog thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed it's very free and um, thank you guys for watching. Open up, you open up, bitch, you won't be We should be close and friends.